Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are looking at an Ariba Nova Light 465 this time. And why are we looking at this? Well, because it is a um, the full height version, actually, of the Ariba Feeling, which I own. And this is a great couples van. Um, or maybe if you've got little kids, this would work as well. And I will explain why when we get inside. Uh, but this is six meters and seven centimeters in total. So that's shipping length right the way from the back of the handle. Very strong, sturdy grab handle on the back right the way to the front of the hitch so six meters seven centimeters brilliant brilliant small package super well insulated um, but this is a full height caravan so if you don't need a pop top um, you don't mind the extra un aerodynamicness that's not even a word is it anyway uh, if you don't mind being less aerodynamic than in a feeling or you're particularly tall this might be a good solution for you so 1500 kilo chassis um, they haven't printed on the uh, unladen weight but I bet you it's probably not much more than about a ton so you've probably got three or four hundred kilograms payload which is really really good um, I'm not convinced by the ridiculous smiley face on this new upgraded front it just anyway I don't like it but you might we're all different okay let us have a look inside so inside as I said we've got the the dinette end, um, 130 on that facing side and one metre next to the door. So, you know, if you're as tall as me, you can lounge perfectly adequately in one metre 30. Uh, three burner hob and sink and a, a little bit of space around the worktop for toasters and kettles and things. Um, door on the European side. People moan, uh, but I've never had a problem with my door on the European side. I do usually park nose in if I'm in the middle of a row if I can't get a row end but that's not a problem you just get a mover fitted and then you can park nose end if you need to uh, nooks and crannies and storage boxes and little cupboards and all sorts of things everywhere no sort of front skylight which is ubiquitous amongst UK vans in this one but loads and loads of cupboards and storage still with those horrendous curtains that I really don't like sorry if you like them but you know all different anyway double French bed here at the back um, which can be a bit unusual for uh, continental vans so a double French bed and then the washroom to the side loads and loads and loads of storage again uh, bench loo shower towel hooks and then a Obviously, shower curtain to keep the woodwork dry when you're showering. Did I remember that one? Um, little mirror there. And basically, that's it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed looking around. Very quick little video um, just to introduce you to this cool little huge payload, but nice and compact, so great for getting to all sorts of places. Van. Right, thanks for watching. Um, thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. See ya.